So here's a creativity challenge for you. What imagery comes into your mind when you think of the word strength? A lot of people become super focused on working on your ability to draw, but creativity needs to be exercised a lot too. And so I gave myself this theme, which is strength, very specifically in the realm of long-term persistence kind of strength. This painting was my art for animals painting for May, which means I'm going to hang it up in the veterinary office, donate half the proceeds to the DCSBCA. And so I usually want to have a main character animal as a focus. The theme helps me try to develop some kind of image that is interesting to paint. <laughs> I chose the theme of strength. So this is where continuing your childlike curiosity in the world and learning about things comes in handy because then you may have some images already in your mind as to what conjures up the word strength in you. And to me, naturally, the first thing that pops up in my head is a wisteria tree because it's a very beautiful tree. Um, but one thing about wisteria trees is that wherever you plant it over a very long period of time, given enough patience and care, will just destroy <laughs> whatever it's growing on. But I also want to convey resilience um, against adversity. I have the tree growing directly out of a heart shape on the front, but I also have the dog sitting on a kind of a wailing wall. I'm reminded of a book that I read once, The Secret Life of Bees, and one of the characters in that book is afflicted with pretty severe anxiety and she calms herself by going out to a stone wall and she writes down her thoughts or her prayers or what have you and sticks them into the cracks in the wall. So I fashioned it around the description of that specific wall. It's just a very small, short stone structure. So in this image, we have the German Shepherd doing its stereotypical cocking head over position and perched on top of a wailing wall, kind of casually, as if he has ownership over this thing. And with the wisteria growing out of the dog's heart, it's like over time, uh, it grows and becomes stronger and stronger and stronger until it's blooming beautifully. Yeah, that's just kind of the meaning behind this little painting. The beautiful thing about art is that if you were to take this theme yourself and to create an image that describes resilience, and strength in the face of adversity, subheading persistence over time, you would come up with something completely different, probably. But that's what makes each individual artist stand out. No matter how trivial you think that your stories are or your ideas are in relation to the big wide world out there, it depends on all the things that you've experienced, all the media that you've consumed, these random little objects that have big connotations in your mind, like a lot of people probably wouldn't think wisteria uh, meaning strength. They might mean lions, it might mean big waves, I don't know. But it's different for every person because every person's life is different. The only reason why I did a German Shepherd in the first place is because I was asked to do a tiny little commission um, of a German Shepherd, and it's a beautiful animal. And coming across, you know, hilarious animal videos of the dogs cocking their heads side to side just kind of cinched it for me. And so this image wouldn't even exist if I didn't meet that specific person, or I didn't see this meme video, or I didn't uh, admire wisterias, or learn anything about them because I wanted to grow them, you know, kind of thing. Like, there's a lot of tiny little things accumulate into this one image. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I would personally love, love, love to hear what idea you would come up with if you were given this theme of strength developed against adversity when given a long period of time and patience to build that strength. What would you personally come up with? And really think a lot about the reasons why you choose the things you do because they may not actually be as cut and dry and immediate for anyone else except for you. If you want me to draw your pet in a scene just like this, I will have a link to my website in the description that'll tell you a lot of information about how that would go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.